1974 is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is inspired by Ed Gein and about the Twisted Sawyer family who kills a group of friends who just wanted to visit the Franklin's place. Now grab your skin mask and some gas, it's time to watch people die. The first death of the movie happens off screen with this roadkill armadillo. The first kill of the movie, and the first Leatherface kill, happens when Kirk decides he can't help but invade someone's home. <laughs> as much as I love this kill, it really was avoidable. You should have ranched a little bit sooner, Pam. The first human skull should have been enough. <laughs> Leatherface wasn't playing around with this guy. After all, man just took a cleaver to the face. I don't know if he went with her to protect her or because he was scared. But either way, you know, he doesn't have to worry anymore. Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's a shame Drayton didn't die with him. But after chasing Sally and slashing her back, a truck drives by and ruins his whole career. In the end, 1974's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a total of six kills. We did see two dug up corpses, and we heard about at least 72 others dying. But we're only counting the kills that happened during the events of the movie. My favorite was when Pam was captured by Leatherface and stuck on the meat hook. Which one was yours? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you back here again with more dead people.